A capstone is the crowning achievement of any project or architecturally it's the stone at the top of the arch. So ultimately for the students it is a representation of uh, everything they've learnt in their past four years or so and it is their crowning achievement. In our case it's an open uh, project where they are allowed to choose and uh, pick the parameters for what they're going to design and they go through uh, everything from design to analysis to manufacturing to testing. They are given a lot of room and they have a lot of responsibility and they learn an incredible amount in a very short period of time. And this is uh, my team's project, the Duo Roberto. And essentially what this is, is this is a transforming bike. What we did here is we really tried to focus on um, getting the geometry right. What the bike does is it can be switched from a recumbent bicycle to an upright bicycle. We've identified a market wherein an average commuter, a commuter who travels from a suburban area into um, an urban area, when you're out in sort of a suburban area, you can take advantage of the efficiency of a recumbent bike, but as soon as you come into the urban setting, switch to the upright, and then you have all the advantages of an upright bike. Normally in the game industry, when you want to build a model, it takes a really long time because you have to use a suite of tools, it takes a lot of man hours, and so on. So with our tool, if you want a skinny model or a tall model, you feed it pictures of this type of person, and then it generates the model in a couple of minutes. Our stakeholder wanted us to build an application where he could easily create 3D models of humans. And so what our application does is take uh, two pictures of a human, and then we sort of build a 3D model from them, and then we apply uh, animation to that model with the Microsoft Connect. Our primary goal was to develop a autonomous network person service robot that can assist and aid um, the elderly people and the ill in nursing homes and hospitals. And once it maps the environment, it localizes itself, it knows where the, the rooms are, where specific people are. And what it can do is it can transport items such as food, water, to these destinations at specific times to assure that these patients uh, receive the proper care. We can constantly just check up how patients are to see how they're doing. If they are ill or they need help, it, it will automatically send a request to the client application where a nurse can be sitting now and receive a notification saying that this patient requires help and immediately seek help for that person at the, at the robot's destination. The car, it's uh, essentially a hybrid electric plug-in vehicle and uh, we have a bank of ultra capacitors in tandem with uh, a battery. It's uh, all electric. You have this hybrid energy storage system. Instead of your typical electric car where you have only a battery, you have ultra capacitors with a battery. And these ultra capacitors give you extra range and extra speed when needed. As you're braking or backing up, it recharges the battery while you're driving, let's say. So you know, you're driving, you're discharging the battery, you stop at a red light. That charges the battery up, which gives you that extra extended range for driving.